Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are making the most delicious banana cake. So easy to make, you're going to love it. Let me show you what it looks like here. Gorgeous, moist, delicious, you're going to love it. So let me show you how I make it. To make our banana cake, you are going to need a boxed cake mix. Now, you want to use the golden cake mix, preferably, and um, we are not going to completely follow the directions on the back of the box. For the water, you want to replace with milk. For the vegetable oil, you want to replace with melted butter. And for the eggs, we will be adding in one extra egg. Just follow along and I will show you the exact measurements for each ingredient. So let's get to baking. You'll need four mashed bananas. Now make sure that they are very ripe. You need the sweetness and moisture in your banana cake. So let's get to mashing. Now mash your bananas. Mashed! Now into a bowl, you want to add your mashed bananas here. I am telling you, if you love banana bread, you are going to love this cake. It's so easy to make and so delicious. I love it and you're gonna love it too. So let's move on. Now we are going to take our eggs. We're adding in four eggs and drop it in there. Now we whisk, whisk, whisk. Now we replace our vegetable oil for melted butter and we are going to add in one third a cup of melted butter. Whisk again. This looks wonderful. Now we add in our milk. Drop it right in there. Okay, so for our milk, we added in one cup. Mix it after adding it in, just like I did. Now we will add in one box of instant vanilla pudding mix. You can use the Jello brand if you prefer. It doesn't matter as long as it's instant and it tastes like vanilla. That's all that matters. Add in your pudding mix. And whisk away. We are going to add in some cinnamon. Now just add in till your heart says to stop. I love cinnamon, so I am going to be adding in quite a bit. Half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, one teaspoon. It's all gonna taste amazing. It just depends on your preference. Whisk again. Oh my goodness, it already smells so good. I can't even tell you. Now we are ready to add in our boxed cake mix. Now just sprinkle it in there. Before we start mixing, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't forget. Ah! I think this needs more cinnamon. I'm adding some more. If you're a fan of walnuts, pecans, chocolate chips, you can always add some into your batter and it's going to be wonderful. This is what your batter should look like. I can't even tell you how good this smells. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, now you want to have a loaf pan that has been greased and lined with some parchment paper. Very important, you need this. All right. My loaf pan is an 11 by six, so you don't want to use anything smaller than that. If you have smaller loaf pans, just make sure you use two of them because it will probably overflow and make a huge mess in your oven and you don't want that. So let's get to putting this baby in the oven. Wait, we're bringing back our cake. So what I'm going to do is add some sliced banana on top. Definitely optional, completely up to you. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. And I'm also going to add in some chopped pecans, okay? And then we will be ready to bake it. Now we add our chopped pecans. Now we bake our banana cake for around 45 minutes. I'll let you know what it looks like once we get there. Let's go! 
My banana cake baked for exactly one hour, but the banana slices that I placed on top magically disappeared. So I don't suggest you do that because it will just sink into your cake. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it in my pan for about 10 minutes, then I'm going to place it on my cooling rack so it cools for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we will cut a slice and try it. Now we are ready to try our banana cake. It smells so good. I can't even tell you. Let me break it here in the center. It has an amazing moisture and texture on the top. Just perfection. Let's take a bite. Make sure you allow it to cool to room temperature before you cut into it. And that's about it. Easy to make. You're going to love it. Make sure you give it a try. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.